So yeah, that this pack sucked like all the rest of them. Hasn't been very good. Those go in the junk pile. These go in the keep pile for now. Because they may become good cards eventually, but I doubt it. Like, it just depends on if they become good rookies. We'll have to wait and see if time tells they can go there. These go in the trash over here. And I missed the trash can. Hi, guys. We're going to open up two packs. I'm like... 14 or so packs, maybe more, in and haven't got anything worth of crap yet. Haven't got a single insert, unless you count that card that you, you get an insert technically in every pack, but it, to me it doesn't really count. I'll show you what I mean when I get to it. Here's our rookie. And here's the insert you pretty much get in every pack. You get a yellow card in every pack. So to me, that's not really an insert if I get one in every pack. But anyways, let's open this one up. And it looks like it's the exact same. No special insert. Here's my rookie card. And here is my yellow insert. And that's a rookie card too. So out of those two packs, I got these four cards that are probably worth absolutely nothing. Uh, engage with people other than like getting them to talk to you guys. It's about you education. It. We, we do education. So you do you an education people. Channel. We have, we have we a cordial conversation, conversation with so anyone. Saying, really. like, part of the education is watching people's phones and seeing how much people are putting out there. Yep. Just the fact that we are in a public space and obviously you have a right to film people in a public space. People have no expectation of privacy when they're in a public space. This guy is on it. He knows what he's talking about. All That's the above. Part of your, your narrative. All so we, the above. we go out and we film and we see if our rights to record is respected. Right. That's what I was wondering. That's so it, it is engagement. Yeah. So you are looking to have people. Not necessarily. With you. So I have videos with no yeah. engagement, right. and they are still beautiful videos because yeah. part of what we do is travel content. So we actually travel the country doing this. And where are you guys based out of? Curious. I, Southern California is where our base is, but we just got back from Florida a couple, uh, two weeks ago. We're going to Montana here in a couple of weeks. And, right. Yeah. So we just cool. travel all over, do public photography, filming. Yeah. Uh, our channel specifically, you know, we're not only First Amendment auditing. We no. do, uh, you know, again, teach people about privacy in public, cameras, and then we also do travel content. So we get invited into shops, stores, we get to meet different people from all kinds of walks of life. Cool. We share all of it. So, right on. Yeah, there was, uh, obviously, I'm sure you guys follow the um, birds are real guy who just is so. Wait, what is it? The birds aren't real. Do you believe all birds are real? The birds aren't real. Oh, really? Oh, really? oh wow. Um, birds aren't real. It was a, a guy started it. Well, it was during protests a couple of years ago, and he just randomly flipped a sign around and said, birds aren't real, and it, it got viral. So he used it as he's a method actor, and so he actually put it on the side of a van and drove across country and would just go and park in parking lots, sit in a chair, birds aren't real, people drones, blah, 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 and see what happened when people come up to him, engage with him. And, wow. You know, and like, he was, after a while, he was like, dude, I understand why people who kind of are on the fringe of belief systems get really entrenched in their belief systems because yeah. the people who came up to him were like mean and harsh to him and like truly crushing yep. to his, you know, the message that he didn't really believe in. But that kind of level of engagement of people coming up to him was 
he was it was interesting. It was so he started to publish it as a documentary. It's kind of like a social experiment. I, I want to say 